Can you teleport? <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, Cog Dog. He's just been on the DS106 radio. Up. Can you hear the ambient noise? Oh God, yes, I can hear it. And I think I don't know who else is listening, but can you hear the ambient noise? But now, how do we do uh, SOS voice too? I'll take the headphone out and uh, let the friendly iPhone greetings. Or can you hear me? Whatever. Uh, collect the ambient so noise. So, if you did voice, I think it would go out as well. Dr. Garcia is talking. Isn't this insane? <laughs> None of my audio is coming in besides my spoken word it's now. It's about is it? to get funky in, in here. I can feel it. The band is mobilizing. Oh, yeah. Full drinks in hand, moving insane. towards the instruments. So, just for those of you following we in at home, because keyboard, I imagine this might uh, on the, uh, the uh, drum kit. Is it the in world music? Huh. That's a guitar. Hey, hey. Uh, I see one guitar in the corner and a bass. How about now? Is that better? So then I have multiple. A little closer to the mic. Yeah. I'm hearing Dr. Pretty Garcia good. in my ears. Because I'm listening to DS106, but you might yes. be listening to the yeah, in world. You while showing. Me too. Me too. Like your noise. Oh, good. But we're just gonna well, zoom in on you here for a second. Noise, that's really, that's actually the most important. Thank you, Julia, there for the go. feedback. I appreciate that. No. <laughs> that's what we talk about. On D, or that's how we are on DS106 Radio. Midwifery, midwifery yes. at its finest. Not well, midwifery. yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm. Yeah, you know, what's the word? I'm. My, my jaw has dropped. Just I, I had the thought this morning, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but I had the thought that this could be done, and sure enough it is. But what I tried to do was make a piece of media, a board, and embed the media on the board to watch the actual Ustream or the Justin TV. Uh, well, I, I, they've changed it with the Second Life 2, and I've seen YouTube videos playing. And, uh, you, can, you can put a YouTube URL, but I don't know if you can put a Justin, but you can uh, attach, um, is this your plan? No, no. I have no idea where I am. I'm not going to try to do it now, because I actually have to get going, but uh, there's got to be a way to do it. I knew Shamble Guru. Or I saw this on on the TV. I thought maybe really? you're in that um, that Minecraft place. I don't know anything about that. No. Me either. I, it's like I don't want to do another media form. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Hey, I'm just getting reacquainted with the interface. I had to turn down the music and turn up your voice. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Well, this is pretty. I, I spent a lot of time in Second Life a couple of years ago when uh, we ran a lot of events there. I think I actually contacted you one time asking you some sort of question about media. Uh, okay. Were, were you with the NMC? Yeah. People? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Your, yeah, your name yeah, was passed to me, and probably in our chat logs there might be some record of that. But I was okay. trying to figure out something with Second Life. I hope I gave you an answer. I think you pointed me to a resource that had the answer. Yeah. Okay. Which is kind of the way it needs to be. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. So yeah, this is it. So it's I was just I think it probably makes pretty interesting video for somebody who's never seen Second Life. Although I'm just spinning the camera around us. But you know Yeah, we used to, we used to yeah, we used to do some things where we'd um because there were only a certain number of people who could come to an area when we had large events. We would have uh, an avatar like yours be a virtual camera person, mm -hmm. and we would um, stream their view out to a streaming server and then place it on a, on a screen in another sim so you could sort of rebroadcast. Right, right. So people could be on that sim. But Yeah, yeah. What about taking stuff out of world? 
like live video? Uh, well, the same thing. I mean, it was just a quick time stream, so we, we actually did put it up on a web page for people who didn't sure. be in Second Life. Um, and there was even a um, this thing called Chat Bridge, which allowed uh, people to do uh, text chat from the web interface and have it uh, relay to the chat here in the world. Uh, that was kind of slick. Interesting, yeah. And now it's what? Now it's what? Is there anything happening in Second Life? I don't know. I heard I they got a new CEO. Here. Did you hear about that? Again? No, no. I'm, I'm, out, of, I'm out of circulation. I know a number of people are still really you know, pretty active here, but um, <laughs> I always enjoyed it, but... Yeah. Um, it just it's just not the same as the web for me. Mm -hmm. But it's fun. It's fun. The drama. You can be you can be you can be a smart ass in so many ways. Yeah, indeed. Well hey man, thank you for the uh the the blog post and the video you did for JJ's project. Uh, do you know is he one of your colleagues or Yeah, JJ just a second, my daughter's asking me a question. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you want a snack. Absolutely. How much do you need? Yeah, she needs a little money to go buy ice cream down at 7-Eleven. Oh, boy. Yeah, JJ works at TUJ, where I work as well. Okay. And, uh, okay, yeah. yeah, I just saw his uh, his tweet showed up in the DS106 chat, and I, I started looking at his project, and I was like, this is so cool. Yeah. So I just dropped what I was doing and, and did my video. That was fun. Now, now what, what is the project, yeah. as you understand it, just for those who may not have heard? Uh, what they're doing is they're trying to do a. Um, I understand it's the first time. It's it's they're doing a crowdsourced video where people contribute videos, but not only that. Um, in your video, you print out a, a thing uh, on a piece of paper. It's called a marker, and what it does is it's a um, augmented reality uh, trigger. So uh, when they actually produce this video and, and you view it, there'll be a way that when you see that icon um, show up on your video, it'll generate a 3D um, sort of animation that pops out of it. So they're trying to do the first crowdsourced augmented reality video. Wow. Um, and it's all based upon the song by a band or a singer called Song Dog, yeah, Song Dog. which of course got my attention. Yeah. Hey, did you listen um, to, I listen to the song? It was, okay. Yeah, it was a beautiful song. And it just, it got me thinking, um, this, uh, past Saturday was the anniversary of the death of my brother, and um, it's kind of a sor sorrowful bit to um, his story, so I just made my 20-second video, um, and I hope more people do it. It's it's a great project, and uh, um, the the video that they did for the project is great, because each, each of his students say something, and you can tell they had a lot of fun with it, They did, um, yeah. but um, it's a student-run project there at, uh, I guess it's the Tokyo campus for Temple University. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, there's there's so much to tell. I've not really said much about where I work, but it's kind of out now. Um, JJ was absolutely ecstatic with your blog post and just your contribution to the project. So if he hasn't thanked you already, I'm I guess I'm passing that on. Oh, he has. Away. Yeah. He's, he's he commented and he said something in Twitter. So um, yeah. that's the way stuff works. You know, you, you make a connection around the world. So oh, so you were you were with Temple then yourself? Yeah. Right? yeah that's one of my part time jobs. Uh, okay. And I've okay. just briefly looked at your blog post, and I saw the, the the mention of your brother, and I haven't followed that through yet, but the photograph of the chair links to the story, you said, in your blog yeah, post? Yeah, yeah, okay. that was his rocking chair. My mm -hmm. my um, my brother, my he was my parents' first son, and he was born severely mentally retarded. Mm -hmm. And all the doctors told my mom that she should really give up the baby, and she refused, and she did her best to care for him. Um, and then she had my two sisters, and then about 10 years later, by the time I came along, mom was overloaded, and she finally had to give up, and David uh, was sent to one mm -hmm. of the state mental hospitals in, in Maryland. So I never grew up. I never. I only knew of him. I never knew him growing up because he oh, was um, in this state hospital, and he, you know, he lived to be maybe in his late 20s, but his mental age was somewhere around two or three. You mm -hmm. know, he couldn't feed himself or anything. Um, so I always had these kind of imaginations of this brother who I never knew. I kind of got cheated out of an older brother, you know, who would have, you know, taught me how to, you know, go camping or fishing and, you know, all the things I imagined what an older brother would be. I kind of 
lost out on in, in a way. Um, he still was my brother, hmm. and the, the the rocking chair um, was the chair that he used to spend a lot of time sitting in. Um, and there's a lot of old uh, eight millimeter family movies of David sitting in the chair, and he was just you look at him, he was just happy. He'd sit there clapping and smiling, and, and just looked you know as happy as he could be in his way. And uh, about ten or fifteen years ago, my mom mailed me in this giant box his rocking chair. So I'm I'm looking at it right now. So um, I, you know I I have it in my calendar every year um, when his birthday and the anniversary of his death come along. And it's just one of those things where you pause and think about someone in your life who's no longer there. Hmm. I I don't know what to say. That's just. Beautifully told. Well, thank you, Scott. Very, very, very. Uh, I, I can't talk for once. Um, <laughs> you, you, Stump the DJ. <laughs> you indeed are a, a multifaceted cog dog with a lot of dimensions and angles. Oh, I'm oh. just, I'm just one part. Everybody's got these stories, you know. You mm. sit down and talk to people, and people have the family stories. They got their life stories. There's no end to the stories that people have to tell. Absolutely. Well, I'm very much looking forward to your road trip, and can't imagine how you're going to put it together. But it certainly sounds like a like a big event. Wish I could <laughs> tag along or hitchhike <laughs> for a, a segment of the road <laughs> or two. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, unfortunately, my truck won't drive to Japan. <laughs> mm, yeah, we need a bridge. Well, that's coming back to JJ's project. Like this was really going to be something special, and then you know we've lost three weeks with the earthquake and lost right. a number of students. So and JJ left the country. He's from France, and uh, oh, okay, he has a young, ch two young children, and the embassy was telling all of the French people to leave, almost commanding them to. They had very strong language in their, in their uh, emails they were sending to the citizens. So they left, and he was planning on leaving Japan anyway. So he 